and welcome back to my channel. I'm Emily if you are new here. This week's video is an Accutane Q&A. I asked you guys to send in questions you had for me regarding my Accutane experience. So this is my Instagram. If you don't follow me already, you definitely should. I got an overwhelming amount of responses, probably the most responses I've ever had from asking a question on Instagram regarding Accutane and everything. Um, for those of you that are unaware what Accutane is, I would highly recommend you go and watch some of my videos from my playlist, which I will link on the screen and then you can kind of see it all in order. Essentially Accutane is um, a drug used to treat acne and I'm currently taking it. So I hope this video is helpful for you guys who are maybe starting Accutane, who are on it, or maybe thinking about looking into this side of things. Just a brief update as to where I'm up to. I'm on around month six now and I've got another month and a half to go and then I'm done. So I'm coming towards the end of my course. Just a little disclaimer, the answers to these questions will kind of be regarding my experience. I can't say what your experience will be like if you decide to go on the drug. Let's just jump straight into the questions because we've got a lot to get through. How long did it take you to see some major differences? For me, I started noticing changes from week one, to be honest. A lot of people have a purge beforehand where the skin gets worse before it gets better. And in my experience, I was so, so lucky that my skin actually started to get better from the beginning. So I'd say from about week three was when I really kind of noticed a real drastic difference from the beginning. Um, so yeah, for me, it was about three weeks. I started noticing a massive improvement in my skin. I'll put some pictures up on the screen just for you guys to kind of see what I'm talking about. So week one and then week three, there is a massive difference which I didn't expect at all and I don't think a lot of people are that lucky. I think a lot of people do have a purge first. So yeah, that's just something to bear in mind. How are you avoiding any post-Accutane illness such as ME, CFS or Candida overgrowth? Now I'll be honest, I had to look up what ME uh, slash CFS is. CFS is chronic fatigue syndrome and I didn't even know that was a possibility after Accutane, I'll be honest. Um, I think there was such a wide spectrum of things that people get after Accutane and it could be linked to Accutane or it could not be. So it's really difficult to say what could happen afterwards. I'm currently not too concerned. I'll get onto it later on when I ask some more questions. So I had quite a lot of people asking about whether I take the pill. So um, basically if you're on Accutane, you're not allowed to get pregnant because the drug can cause deformities to feet, like an unborn fetus. So you are not allowed to get pregnant. So the majority, I think, of females are put on the pill as well as Accutane. For me, I really don't like the idea of putting artificial hormones into my body. Um, my menstrual cycle does its thing perfectly on its own and I didn't want to tamper with that and put myself on hormones. So um, I discussed this with my dermatologist and she was more than happy for me to uh, go down the other option which is to sign something called a pregnancy for pre prevention. I cannot speak today. To sign a pregnancy prevention program form. Um, and that basically just means that it's my responsibility to not get pregnant, which so far has gone well. <laughs> a lot of people have messaged me about this and I think I'd say if you are kind of concerned about having to go on the pill and Accutane um, at the same time, maybe just have a chat with your dermatologist and they should be understanding. At the end of the day, it is your body and it's your decision what you choose to put in it. So when I said I wasn't happy going on the pill as well as Accutane, my dermatologist was really understanding and could completely see where I was coming from. It wasn't a necessity, it's just something they do often as a precaution. So there are other options that maybe you could discuss and look into. You can decide to have a coil fitted if you prefer. There are like other options that you can go down or like me, you can just sign a form. It is completely up to you and it should be completely up to you because it is your body. Someone's just asked weird side effects question mark. Um, the side effects are kind of, I think all the side effects I've had are kind of what I expected to be honest. It's just dryness, dryness and more dryness. Um, except my lips, I didn't, my lips have been absolutely fine. If you haven't watched my video, I've done a whole video about how I've kept my lips so well hydrated for Accutane. Again, I'll link it on the screen. Everything else has kind of been as expected, I'd say. Like I was mentally prepared that my skin would get dry and I'd probably end up with eczema flares, which I have had and I'm kind of dealing with as we speak. I've got another eczema flare at the moment. My knees, my hips, my back, they definitely have starting to play up now, which I kind of expected and it's something that's talked about. Um, I guess one thing I maybe wasn't quite as prepared for is the runny nose situation. Um, obviously it's winter and my nose is runny in winter and I think a lot of people's noses are runny in winter anyway but my nose is like a tap sometimes. It just runs and runs and runs and it's, yeah, it wasn't, I wasn't prepared for that one. I wouldn't say it's been anything weird, I'll be honest with you guys. Headaches, blurry vision and fear of, what? I can't even say that. Pseudotumor, 
I'm going to have to look that up. I don't know how you say it, but basically it's a brain condition that causes the same symptoms as brain tumour. So headaches, vision problems, nausea and dizziness. It means false tumour. So headaches, yes, I have had headaches. I know, literally, if I don't drink enough water, I'll get a headache. And that's all it is. So if I keep on top of the water drinking and keep myself well hydrated, I won't get headaches. Um, I haven't had any um, blurry vision. And I definitely haven't had fear of this weird illness because I didn't know it was even a thing so um yeah the headaches are definitely a thing if you don't drink enough you'll get a headache but that's kind of standard anyway that's just life like if you get a headache you're dehydrated that's what it is you are kind of more I guess more at risk of getting a headache because you're just a bit more dehydrated so it's just drinking more water can Accutane cause stretch marks um I don't know I've not experienced that in my case I thought stretch marks are caused by when your skin stretches over quite a short period of time so I don't know I don't think it would cause it on its own, but I'm not a professional, so I'm not going to answer that one. Do you have any tips other than products for combating side effects? Um, yes, it would be drink lots of water, eat a very kind of, I hate the phrase clean diet, but like eat really fresh and lots of like fruits and vegetables and hydrating foods. Um, for me, I found eating gluten free has really helped with my eczema and just my general health and like energy and stuff like that um and also just make sure you're getting really good long sleeps because your body does kind of feel a bit more fatigued than normal yeah so i guess it's just kind of living a really healthy life as best you can maybe like doing some kind of light exercise so like low impact exercise on a regular basis whether it be yoga whether it be some stretching um whether it just be like a nice walk outside low impact stuff is really good because it won't put any pressure on your joints so yeah, those would be my tips, just lifestyle tips really. Red studies that Accutane modifies your DNA, any concerns about that? Um, I'll be honest, I haven't seen any studies that say it modifies your DNA. Um, so no, I wouldn't say I'm concerned about that. I want to just say like there is so much stuff out on the internet with everything and you can link any drug to any kind of side effect or any um, secondary factor. Um, and I think it's sometimes really, really scary and for me, like I remember doing some research into Accutane and you go down like a massive rabbit hole and you see all these horrible things and they may well be true but at the same time they may not be, well be true um, and it really depends on the individual. I'm not here promoting Accutane but at the same time I'm not, I'm not going to be like, it's the worst drug in the world because I'll be honest with you, for me it's done wonders for my skin and also my mental health as a secondary knock-on effect so yeah just something to bear in mind when you're doing research there's always going to be really negative things out there and also there's going to be really positive things out there it's just kind of you've got to make a personal decision as to whether you think it's the right thing for you to do or not and obviously in my case I think I it was the right thing for me to do the biggest difficulty with Accutane um the biggest difficulty for me is just the dryness like whether it be when you get an eczema flare or when your nose starts bleeding. Just the general dryness. You're not allowed to drink alcohol while you're on the drug. And for me, I don't drink anyway, so that really doesn't bother me. I know some people would really struggle with that. But um, yeah, that's the biggest thing. Just, just being dry all the time. How has your mental health been during Accutane? So I touched on it just a moment ago, but my mental health has been amazing. It's just gotten better and better as I've been on... On the drug and that's not because the drug makes you happier if anything they warn you that the drug can sometimes cause depression and even suicide which is terrifying um but it's purely because my skin's gotten better and for me my skin caused me so much anxiety and sadness i suppose um that obviously now it's getting so much better and like all of my back and shoulders have cleared up as well i just feel so happy so my mental health is doing great any concerns about accutane potentially affecting female fertility i have heard it may um, again, there are some really kind of severe claims out there about what Accutane can do to your body. Um, obviously, I'm not on the pill, so that's one less thing that is kind of affecting my menstrual cycle and my fertility. I think there was another question, which I think I'll answer at the same time as this because it kind of fits in. Has Accutane affected your menstrual cycle in any way? So for me, no, my menstrual cycle has been the same. I have a regular menstrual cycle that is kind of natural. It's not regulated by any pills or hormones or anything else. And so because my cycle has stayed so similar, like it's just exactly the same, um, I'm going to assume positively that my fertility is the same. Someone has asked, will my scars disappear? 
Um, so if you look back at my early pictures, I didn't really have any scarring that was kind of textured scarring, so the like pitted scarring. Um, I just had like red kind of hyperpigmentation and a lot of that, as you can probably tell now, has gone. I don't think Accutane can kind of fix uneven skin texture, but I think that is something that you can maybe address after you finish Accutane. But I can't, I don't know and I won't be able to, to tell you about that because I'm, I don't experience those type of scars which I am very fortunate for. I think that scarring as in like dark marks can definitely fade because Accutane has definitely faded a lot of mine and like the hyperpigmentation, but I don't know if it can completely get rid of all scarring. Have you experienced any mood swings or deeply sad mindsets while on Accutane? Um, I touched on it before, no, none at all. My, my mental health has been the best it's ever been in years, to be honest. So yeah, it's all been good for, for me. Again, this is a reminder, this is just purely my experience and not what it would be like for you or what, what it's like for anyone else on on Accutane. Have you noticed any hair loss? This is another one that I've seen quite a lot of people worry about. Um, no, again, my hair hasn't hasn't been falling out any more than like the standard amount that you kind of shed every day. Um, if anything, my hair and my nails grow unbelievably fast um, and have been growing unbelievably fast while I've been on Accutane. Like my hair at the moment is honestly at my bum length and I need to go and get a haircut but I can't because the hair just is a clothes and it's just yeah so no I haven't experienced any hair loss why are you on Accutane um that's probably quite a good question to maybe have started with but I'm on Accutane because I had my persistent acne for about four years and it was massively impacting my um I guess my mental health so that is why I'm on Accutane and it was my last resort like I tried everything else I tried antibiotics I tried changing my diet to like so many different things. I tried Chinese herbal medicine, like there was just so much that I tried and it was getting to the point where I just couldn't deal with it anymore. So that is why I'm on Accutane. Impact on gut health and mood. Um, I haven't noticed any changes in my gut health. Um, when I say gut health, you can kind of tell by like your feces and your poo, <laughs> which is kind of grim, but you can kind of tell. My digestion is kind of the same and it's nowhere near as bad as it once was, my digestion. So yeah, I haven't really noticed any changes on that. Um, I do take a probiotic every day, and I've already talked about the mood side of things. What did you wish you knew before starting that you know now? I start Accutane this week. I'm gonna move around because this sun is annoying me. I think the one thing I wish I knew was that it is not as bad as some of the horror stories that you hear out there. If I knew that, I would have gone on Accutane probably a while ago and not left it to this point. For me, it was it was the horror stories that really put me off and all of the negativity around it. And again, it's not me saying that it's a great drug to go on and it's like, you know, the best thing ever and it's really easy, but it's, it's definitely not as hard as some of the horror stories that you hear out there, in my experience. If you're starting it this week, just know you're gonna be fine. How did you find out about Accutane? Um, I found out about it online when I initially got acne because it's on the NHS website. It kind of lists the different steps that they can take to treat acne and it tells you about it on there. So that's where I initially heard about it and then obviously did more and more research. Um, so this is about four years ago. So I've known about it for a long time. How does it work and is it good for teenagers too? I think teenagers can go on it. Um, they, it definitely gets prescribed for teenagers to answer the second part of that question. The first part of the question, Accutane is essentially a really high concentration of vitamin A. So it's not a hormone and what the excess amount of vitamin A does when it's in your body is it stops or shuts down temporarily your oil production. So your like oil secretion, but it doesn't just do that in your skin where you want the acne to go, it does it everywhere. And what that allows is for your spots and your skin to clear up. It gives your skin cells time to retrain, to relearn how to divide normally and how to not kind of go into overdrive, which is what happens when you have acne. It kind of allows your skin to just fully balance out again, all of the bacteria, that were causing the spots and getting stuck in your pores, um, kind of go back to like a normal level, what it would be like in a normal person's skin that doesn't have acne. Um, and obviously by doing that over your course, it hopefully means that when you go back and come off the drug and your oil production goes back again or, or comes back again, you, your skin won't go back into having acne or as much acne basically. How long did you have to wait to get the drug from the time you were referred to a dermatologist? So. It was slightly longer than I expected because of um, the pandemic. In 2019, in like November, December, was when my GP referred me to a dermatologist. And then from November, December, I had to wait until July 2020 to then get um, 
to actually get an appointment with the dermatologist to then be put on the drug. So yeah, how long is that? Like seven, eight months? This will be the last question. So products that helped you throughout the journey. Um, I have put the products that I use on my Instagram story. So I will link my Instagram here and it's in one of the highlights about, I think it's Accutane part two, one of my highlights, you'll see all the products on there. Um, but if you guys want like a full video, maybe showing like my skincare routine while I've been on Accutane and what I do, um, please give this video a like and leave me a comment down below. If you want to see more about my Accutane journey, do remember to subscribe to my channel and turn the bell notification on so you get notified when I post new videos. Thank you so much for asking all of your questions. I've tried to answer as many as possible, kind of cover the broad topics because a lot of them were very similar. So I hope it's answered um, your questions. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye for now.